180 plus theta, 2 pi of 360 degree minus theta, that means sin 60 degree, this is also sin 60 degree, but sin, in case of this minus sin 60 degree, it is negative, in the fourth quadrant it is negative, and the third quadrant also is negative, and 180 minus 180 plus theta means lying in the third quadrant, this is equal to minus sin 60 degree, minus sin 60 is minus 3 by 2. Okay, so that is how we just calculated this. So these are the values of the angles. Now let me take further. This is how quadrants are very important. Knowing the values of different trigonometric bases in different quadrants is very important. It is basic to required for finding the values of different angles or different trigonometric bases. Okay, so this is question number five. We have done. Now let me talk about question number six. What is question number six says? Prove that this value equal to one. Okay, let me write so the question here. Here we have to prove. Let me write the question here. To prove that tan of tan degree, tan of tan degree, okay, cos of 20 degree. 10 of 40 degree, sorry, the 10 of 40 degree into, into 10 of 50 degree, okay, into cosec of 70 degree, cosec of, into second of 80 degree, second into sine of into sine of 80 degree is equal to 1 we have to prove and prove that this whole is equal to 1 so how many trigonometric are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 trigonometric ratio are given in different angles with different angle side Okay, so 10 degree cos 20 degree, let me keep them, whatever they are. Okay, and 70 degree, okay. <laughs> okay, same, second, 10 second, okay, and sine 80 degree, no problem. So let me now take the left hand side. How, how can we write them? This is solution. Solution. We are finding out the solution of this. Let me take the left hand side here. Let me write the complete left hand side. First is tan of 10 degree into cos of 20 degree. Tan of this into 10 of 40 degree into 10 of 50 degree into cos of 70 degree into second of 80 degree. into sine of 80 degrees. This is the left hand side. Now let me convert them into simpler form. Now 10 of 10 degree let me keep as it is. Okay. And let me write cos of this is cos of 20 degree. No problem. This is cos of 20 degree. Sin 80 degree. It is sin 80 degree. Okay. No problem. No problem. This is cos 20 degree. Cos 20 degree. Okay. Then is for the tangent of 10 of 40 degree. Okay. 10 40 degree. If I write. Okay, let me keep 10 40 degree as it is. 10 40 degree as it is, but 10 50 degree, if I write it as 10 90 degree minus 40 degree. 10 50 degree I have changed. I have written down as 90 minus theta. 90 minus 40 degree. Difference is 50 degree. This is there. Cosec 70 degree. Okay, now cosec 70 degree, if I write, 
This is cosec here. This is 90 degree minus 20 degree if I write. Cosec, 70 degree can be changed. Cosec, 90 minus 20 degree difference is 70 degree. No change. Then second 80 degree. Second 80 degree can be written as second 90 degree minus 10 degree. Into, into one more is left. Sine 80 degree. Sine 80 degree can be written as sine 90 degree minus 10 degree. Okay, now let me write it. Punch. This is 10, 10 degree. Cos 20 degree. Then 40 degree. Now what do we, what do we understand by 10, 90 minus theta? Now 10, since 10, 90 minus theta is the first quadrant positive, which is nothing but cot theta. This 10, 90 minus theta, 10, 90 minus 40 is cot 40 degree. It is cot 40 degree, cot theta. Okay, since this value, the 10, 90 minus theta is cot theta. 10 cot cot 10 for 90 degree. Then the sine cos cos sine set cosec cosec set. This we discussed in the previous lecture series, the first lecture series. Now cosec 90 minus theta is second theta. This we know that since cosec 90 minus theta is going to be second theta. First one positive cosec sec second cosec like that. This is second theta. This is second 20 degree. Cosec 90 minus 20 degree is second 20 degree. Sec 90 minus theta is cosec 10, cosec 10 degree. It is cosec theta, it is cosec 10 degree. Since second also 90 minus theta is equal to cosec theta, simple. It will be cosec theta. Second 90 minus theta is cosec theta. So this is second. Now cosec is, second is cosec, cosec. Now sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. This is cos 10 degree. This is cos 10 degree here. What do we find here? Okay, in second point is that if I convert all the uh, ratios in sin and cos, sin and cos. Then it will be cancelled out. Now let me convert them into sine of 10, 10 degree is sine 10 degree upon cos 10 degree into cos 20 degree as it is. Let me write 10 40 degrees into sine 40 degree upon cos 40 degree. Simple. Now cos 40 degree is cos 40 degree. Whenever you are you are confused, just write convert all the thing materials within sine cos sine cos. Okay, convert them into sine cos because ten and cot are quotient ratios. They are can be expressed in terms of sine and cos. Ten is sine upon cos and cot is cos upon sine. See, so and others others are reciprocal. So this is cos 45 40 degree upon sine 40 degree. It's your cos 40 degree. Cot, sorry, cot 40 degrees, cos 40 degrees upon sin 40 degrees. Second is 1 upon cos. This is 1 upon cos 20 degrees. Second is 1 upon sin 10 degrees. Cos 10 is 1 upon sin 10 degrees. Okay. Cos 10 is cos 10, no problem. Now what we see here, <coughs> now here <coughs> sine, first of all let me cancel out this cos 40 degree, cos 40 degree, this upon this cancel out by 1, sine 40 degree, sine 40 degree, cos 20 degree and m upon 20 degree, sine 10 degree and this is sine 10 degree, cos 10 degree and this is cos 10 degree, so 1, all are same thing upon same thing, is one time all are tension off. We see here 
one are converted into sine and cos, and then we can easily cancel out them. Okay, dividing the same value upon same cos upon cos is one, sine upon sine is one. So this is one answer right inside. This is the right hand side here. And this is the process of solving and scoop. We have taken this right hand side, which is equal to one. Okay, so this is the answer of question number one. What is this? Question number six here. Question six is complete. <coughs> now let me take the next question. Now question number <coughs> seven. What did it say? Let me check it. Now question number seven. Did that question? Let me check it. Now question seven says if zero theta line between zero and pi. Find theta for which sin theta equal to cos theta and sin theta equal to minus sin theta. What is the angle of that? Angle of um, this theta, value of theta. I mean. Question number seven says, seven says if theta is lying between theta is greater or equal to zero and is less or equal to pi, the value of theta can be pi also because it is equal to pi. Theta is between 0 and pi and equal to 0 and pi also. It can be 0, it can be pi also. And line with the angle between the between and angle of all two value can be. So theta line between 0 and pi and this value can be 0 and pi. Find theta for which first part you find here that sine theta is equal to cos theta. Sin theta equal to cos theta first part and b part is if sin theta equal to if sin theta is equal to sin of minus theta. What is the value of theta here? The two parts, a part and b part. If theta line between 0 and pi uh, or equal to 0 and pi also, find theta for which a part sin theta equal to cos theta and sin theta equal to sin minus theta. That means the value of theta we have got. What are the values of theta in case first, first part? Now let me solve it. First solution. Here sin theta this is a part here. Sin theta is equal to cos theta. If I divide by cos theta in both sides, or it is sin theta upon sin theta or cos theta dividing with cos theta both sides equal to cos theta upon cos theta dividing both sides by cos theta so a is a is to 1 now sin theta upon cos theta this is quotient ratio is nothing but tan theta tan theta is equal to 1 tan theta 1 is for tan 45 degree tan 45 degree we know that tan 45 degrees, sin 45 upon cos 45, sin 45 is 1 point, cos 45 is also 1 point, 1 point, 1 point, 1 point, 1 point, this is 1. So here theta is equal to 45 degrees. What the point? So theta is 45 degree in the first case. So theta is equal to 45 degree, first answer of A. In second case, what is the answer? B part that we take. The first part answer is theta is first part degree. Now in B part, it says sin theta is equal to sin of minus theta. Now we know that sin minus theta is an odd function. So it is equal to minus sin theta. Since sin is odd function and odd function so negative of angle is negative of that function therefore sin minus theta is equal to minus sin theta odd function means it becomes negative for negative angle it becomes negative sin minus theta equal to minus sin theta so we can write sin minus theta is minus sin theta now take minus theta sin theta to this side therefore sin theta taking this minus sin theta to this side will be positive sin theta it will be 0 now left over right hand side 0 is left this 2 sin theta 
is equal to 0. So sin theta equal to 0. And sin 0 is 0 below. And sin pi is also 0. Sin 0 is 0. Sin pi is 0. We know that 0 can be the two values. So theta is equal to either 0 or theta equal to pi. Both have the value possibility. Here 0 and pi are the answers. It can be 0 also. So 0 is also possible. 0 is less or equal to theta is less equal to pi. So sin 0 is for 0. Theta is 0 for 0 and so theta and so theta is 0 and pi in this case. Therefore, theta is equal to 0, comma, pi. The two answers of second part. If 0 and pi degree means 180 degree. That is the answer. Question number therefore. Seventh question we have done. Now let me talk about the next question. Question number 8 now. What is the question number 8 say? Let me now check it. The question number 8 is Okay, question 8 says find the value of the following. Okay, there are how many parts? Number of parts are there. Question number 8 is very important. Find the values of the following trigonometric ratios. Find the value of the following. Of the following. Trigonometric ratios. Following trigonometric ratios in that detail. Part, let me take, write the parts by part because number of parts are there so I will write every part here and after that I will solve it. First part says cos 4 0 5 degree. A part is cos of 4 0 5 degree. What is the value of this? Okay, all right. Cos 4 0 5 here. Cos of 4 0 5. Okay. So this is the first part. Now we, we know that what is the solution of this? Let me find the solution. We know we can write it as cos 360 degree. If I write 360 degree plus 45 degree. This is 360 degree plus 45 degree. This is nothing but since we know that cos phi 2 pi sorry, 2 pi plus theta. We will do cos theta. This is in the first quadrant. 2 pi plus theta. First quadrant. First quadrant. All are positive. And for 2 pi plus theta is this is period here. Period of function are there. So cos 2 pi plus theta is cos theta. This is cos 45 degree. This is cos 45 degree. Cos 45 degree is 1 upon 2. So this answer, this value of angles are noted down initially. Please just remember them because cos 45 degree is 1 degree. Sometimes the values are to be remembered because that gives us less time. Otherwise, solving the question, we, have to, we are remembering the values of angles. It may take time. So, we have to remember these values of sine, cos, tan, every okay, trigonometric ratios of different angles, the values are to be remembered. Up to 90 degrees, we are remembering, and it is very easier. So, this value 1.2 is of cos 45 degree. This is 1.2. This is the first time the first part is done, the B part is done. Let me take Sorry, A part is done. Now let me take the B part of this. Put the B part here. The B part says cos 135 degree. Cos 135 degree. Now this is 90 plus theta. You know this 90 plus theta it is. So we can write it as this is cos 90 degree plus 45 degree. 35 plus 10 is 45. This is 90 plus 45 is 135 degree. Now we know that 90 plus theta is 9 in the second quadrant. In second quadrant, cos is negative. Only sine is positive. Sine and cos are positive. Others are negative. All students took coffee. All positive. Sine, cos are positive. This is negative here. In second quadrant, 90 plus theta is 9 in the second quadrant. So 90 is covered completely in the first quadrant. Plus theta comes in the second quadrant. So it's the second quadrant angle. 
second quadrant cos is negative. This is minus cos 45 degree. Now cos 45 degree, as I just told you in the first part, is 1.2. Minus 1.2 is the answer. Okay, so this is the second part. B part is here. Now let me take the C part. For all the angles like this, we have to calculate. C part is second 120 degree. Second 120 degree. Again, we can add it to 90 plus theta. So 90 plus 30 degree. So this is second 90 degree plus 30 degree. Now we know that this is again lying in the second quadrant. The second quadrant sec is negative, negative. Only sine, cosec are positive. Now sec 90, man, 90 plus theta, 90 minus theta is sec, cosec, cosec, sec. Whenever 90 plus theta, 90 minus theta is there, sec, cosec, cosec, sec, 10, cot, cot, 10, cot, 10, sorry. And the sine, cos, cos, sine. So in this is sec is negative minus cosec theta, minus cosec 30 degree. Since we know that second 90 plus theta is equal to minus cosec theta. In place of theta, we have 30 degree. In minus cosec 30 degree. Now minus cosec 30 degree is 2 only. Because sine 30 degree is 1.2. And cosec 30 degree is 1 point sine. That means 2 only. It is the answer. Cosec 30 degree is 2 only. Because sine 30 degree is 1.2. And this is you got to get this value is there. So this is C part minus 2 answer. Okay, now let us take next. So in this way, also we can calculate the value of larger angles than 90 degree or 180 degree. So we can convert them into smaller form and then we have to remove the following. Okay. So C part we have done. Now cosec 150 degree D part. D part is cosec 150 degree. Cosec 150 degree. We can write 180 minus theta. This is cosec 180 minus 30 degree. Difference is 150. 150 can be written in uh, nearest angles form. I mean 90 or 180 or 360 degree. In that way, 180 plus theta, 180 minus theta, 90 plus theta, 90 minus theta, or 360 minus theta, 360 plus theta. This is cosec 180 minus theta. A cosec 180 minus theta lying in the second quadrant. The second quadrant cosec is positive. Cosec cosec 180 plus theta is cosec cosec sec sec cosec cosec. Then 10 cot cot sine cos. So the sine sine cos cos. Or 180 minus theta. 90 is, is there. Then it's cosec sec sec cosec. But in case of 180 plus theta or 2 pi plus theta or minus theta is same angle same. So this is cosec. Positive at 30 degrees. Now, cos of 30 is 2 only positive. This is the answer. Because sine 30 degree is 1.2 and cos of 30 degree is the same way. Okay, so, this is the value of this. Okay, so this is what we have. That this is the answer to cos of 30 degree. Because 180 minus theta is lying the second quadrant, second quadrant cos of is positive. And 180 plus theta, 180 minus theta is same angle. So this is the answer here. Okay. Part D we have done. Now let me take E part. E part is sine 3, 315 degree. E part, this is sine 315 degree. Can be written as sine 360 degree minus 45 degree. For difference is 315 degree. 60 minus 40 by 15 degree difference. So now this is in the fourth quadrant. 360 minus theta. 2 pi minus theta. Fourth quadrant. The fourth quadrant sign is negative. Cos only and second are positive. Negative. This is minus sign. Or 2 pi minus theta sine sine cos sine sine cos cos like this. Same angle will be there. So this is sine 45 degree negative. Minus sine 45 degree. Now sign for 30 degrees, 1.2 is the answer here. The value of angles must be understood, must be known, must be remembered I know. That should be remembered so that we can understand the the value of for sign for 30 degrees, 1.2 is the answer. Minus 1.2 is the answer. Question number, key part of 
question number eight. Let me take the F part. What is F part? Is? F part is sine of, sorry, tangent of, this is tan of 11 pi by 6. Okay. 11 pi by 6. 11 pi by 6. All right. Then we can write it as tangent of 2 pi minus pi by 6. How? 6 plus 12. 12 pi minus pi is 11 pi by 6. 11 pi by 6 can be written like this. This is 2 pi minus theta. 2 pi minus theta. Now this is again in the fourth quadrant. 2 pi 360 degree. 360 minus pi minus theta is fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, tan negative, cos negative, sine negative, cosec negative. Only sine, only for the cos and the second are positive. In the fourth quadrant, all is to move to coffee. coffee. This is minus tan pi by 6. Now pi by 6 is tan 30 degree. Pi by 6, pi is 180 degree. 180 degree upon 6, 6 series of 18, 30 degree. This is 30 degree upon pi by 6. It is minus 1 upon root 3. So 1 upon root 3 is the value of 10, 30 degree. Then 60 degree is root 3 only. And this is one minus 1 upon root 3. This is now 30 degree. Negative value. Minus 1 upon root 3. Okay, so question number F part of 8. Question number 8. Question number 8, F part is completed. So let me take G part. So G is cosec of minus 1200 degree. Okay. Minus 1200 degree. This is there. Now we know that cosec is the odd function. So cosec minus theta is equal to minus cosec theta. We know this since since cosec minus theta is equal to minus cosec theta, cosec is odd function, sine is odd function, both are reciprocal of each other, negative, it is negative, yes. we can be, we can be write this as minus cosec, 1200 degree, minus 1200 degree, now if I write, as in terms of 360 degree plus something, okay, it can be written as, Three times, but four times it will be uh, more than that. So it is three times plus something. Let me write that. It will be minus cosec three into three sixty degree. Three into three sixty degree is what? Six three are eighteen. Eight one carry three three nine and one one zero eight zero. Now left over value is one twenty degree. Well, out of 1200, if I subtract this 0, 2, 1, carry, 1, 120 degree, difference is 120 degree, plus 120 degree. So we can write it as 3 into 360 degree, plus 120 degree, okay, so that is n times 2 pi, n times 2 pi is this is now in the first quadrant, suppose I taken is positive. First quadrant is positive, but 120 degree is undoubtedly theta we have taken it. First we have to convert this n into now we know that since cosec n into 2 pi plus theta is equal to cosec theta. In that way we have to write it down. So this is minus cosec 120 degree. Minus sign is already there, so this minus sign will be kept as it is. This is positive value n into 360 or n to pi, 3 into 2 pi, 4 into 2 pi, or n into 2 pi, n into 2 pi will give us cosec theta only. So this is cosec 120 degree. In place of theta, we have 120 degree. n into 2 pi plus theta is cosec theta, cosec 120 degree. Cosec 120 degree again can be written as cosec 90 plus 30 degree. No problem. Now cosec 90 plus theta 
is the second quadrant. Um, second quadrant cos x is positive, but its value will be cos x 90 plus theta, 90 minus theta is cos x sec, sec cos x. So it is 90 plus theta. For so 90 plus theta, 90 minus theta, or multiple of 90 means 3 pi by 2, this is pi by 2 here. 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 plus theta minus theta will be cos x sec, sec cos sec tan cot cot tan sin cos cos sin in that way. So this is second minus but it is positive here. This minus sign is there but this value is positive because sec for the sin and cosec are positive in the second quadrant. 90 plus theta is lying in the second quadrant. Second quadrant sin and cosec are positive. So this is second 30 degrees. This is this comes out to be positive. But cos I will become second because it is 90 plus theta. So this is minus second 30 degree. So sec 30 degrees, whatever the value of cos 30 degree, reverse of that, let's go of that. It is minus root 3 by 2 is the value of uh, sine 30, sorry, cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. But it will be 2 by root 2. It is 2 by root 3. Because we know that second 30 degree is equal to 1 of 1 cos 30 degree and cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. Whatever the value of sin 60 degree and 60 degree is root 3 by 2. That is the value of cos 30 degree. Cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. It will be reversed then to 2 by root 3. 2 of 1 root 3. It is minus 2 by root 3 in the answer. Final answer is minus 2 by root 3. So this is how we uh, summarize this, I mean, we simplify them into simpler angles, smaller angles, I mean, and then we calculate the values. This is the G part of this. And let me take next part, G H part. H stands for 430 degree, 430 degree. Now, H part is tangent of 430 degree. 30 degrees, sorry, is smaller sign. 430 degree. Okay, this is the H value. Then 40, 430 degree. Now we can write it as 10, 360 degree. Yeah. Plus 40 plus 30, 70 degree. Yeah. This is 430. 360, 60 means 40 and plus 30 is also coming. 